Hello, we're Guild 12, and we'll be talking about the Ford Pinto. Companies like Volkswagen, Honda, and Toyota were finding success with their subcompact cars, and the president of Ford, Lee Iacocca, ordered that Ford should design and produce its own subcompact car, the Pinto. The Ford Pinto was a subcompact car that was known to burst into flames when struck from behind. This popular car's vulnerability resulted in one of the biggest recalls at the time. It also cost Ford millions of dollars and, for many years, their reputation. By 1970, foreign competition in North America had increased so much and Ford began losing market share quickly. In order to avoid falling behind competitors, Iacocca and the executive team accelerated design and production of the car. In all, it took only 25 months for the Pinto to be produced, much more quickly than the 43 month average. Iacocca also made it clear that costs needed to be kept down so that Ford would be able to sell the car for $2,000 or less. These requirements put a great burden on the engineers designing the car. The flaw in the design was that the fuel tank was placed between the rear bumper and the rear axle. In testing done by Ford, it was determined that once the car was struck from behind at a speed of 31 miles per hour or greater, the Pinto's fuel tank was punctured, which increased the chances of a fire dramatically. However, because of the accelerated production schedule, tooling was already complete for the new car and revising the design would cost Ford time and money. Furthermore, due to a lax regulatory environment at the time, Ford had no legal obligation to make the changes. With these factors in mind, Iacocca and the executive team opted to keep the design as it was. In his words, safety doesn't sell, and so it was not a priority. The Pinto sold well, but by 1973, reports of fires caused the executive team to conduct a cost-benefit analysis to determine whether a recall was necessary. This analysis weighed the cost of fixing all the Pintos on the market against the societal costs of deaths, injuries, and property damage. Human life in this analysis was valued at $200,000. Within this framework, it was determined that Ford should not have to recall the Pinto, and the government agreed. But in 1977, the media reported that Ford had known the Pinto was unsafe and was putting profits ahead of the well-being of its customers. Public pressure resulted in a recall, millions of dollars in payouts, and a tarnished reputation. We're going to talk about three different ethical issues in the Ford Pinto case. Um, starting off with, were Lacoca and the executive team wrong to rush production of the Pinto when they saw that it was potentially unsafe, even if it was legal? Next, when considering the impact of a recall, was it ethical for the executive team to put a price on human life? And lastly, were they obligated to look past the financial impacts when they were making their decisions? Ford Pinto's main reason for failure are, one, it was rushed during production, two, during testing, the problem was not resolved. The problems were easy to fix, as it would have only co costed Ford $11 or a bit more, so the price wouldn't be a problem because they're they're a very major company. If they only spent that $11 or just added it on to a price later on like during sales, it would have benefited society as no lives would have been lost in this process and it could be labeled as utilitarianism as it benefited humanity as a whole. Ford had a duty to design the car safely. Lee Iacocca did not demonstrate ethical decision making when he claimed that safety does not sell saying that he does not really care about human lives, he cares more about the money coming from the Pinto. This is, is a example of deontology. People should not act solely for the sake of money. By focusing on, only on money, Lee Iacocca and his executive te team did not demonstrate good moral character. If they only had re redesigned the car during production so that the so that the gas tank wouldn't rupture, then the car would have, then people's lives would have been saved. This would have been more ethical. The second alternative option was to proceed with the recall in 1973, as opposite to 1977 when deaths due to the fuel system failure were reported. The recall will cost some damages on the company's reputation and will cost the company more than $100 million. Of course, that's not good for the investors, but on the other hand, that would ensure the safety of the customers and will avoid many accidents and save many lives. From utilitarian point of view, that would be an ethical decision. And using the deontological approach, 
the customers have the right to drive safely and ensure that the safety standards of the product are high. And the company had an obligation to consider this right and not to cause death to any people. Considering virtue ethics, people should not act solely for the sake of making money. By focusing only on money, the Iokoka and the executive team did not demonstrate good model character. If they had recalled the car when they realized there was an issue, they would have be, would have it would have been the ethical course of action. As the newspaper test, actually the company failed the test. In 1977, the media reported that Ford knew the Bento was unsafe and the public was outraged. If Ford had thought about the public's reaction in 1973, they would have made the decision to call the cars. This would have saved lives and avoided the negative consequences to Ford's reputation. So our preferred ethical option would be to alter the design and production phase of the car. This means slowing down production, altering fuel systems to make them safer, and listening to expert safety advice. And if the car continued to have issues, we would commit to a recall in 1973 rather than 1977. And this ensures that safety is the number one priority for the company, and it would avoid the potential negative press of not doing a recall. Through the analysis that we did, we came to the conclusion that this would uh, not only make a safer car for Ford, which would uh, save countless human lives, it would also help Ford avoid the negative press of um, hiding issues with the car and not doing a recall.